What's up, everybody? This is Mona here again with another video. Even though I haven't been on for a couple months and stuff, I've been busy and things like that. But I'm here today. And today I'm going to be talking about the surprise cruise that I did for my daughter. So it was actually a cruise that I've been planning for like a year and some change. And I didn't tell her about it. She didn't know anything about it. She had no idea we were going on vacation, let alone a cruise. So I kept it a secret for a year, about a year and some change. And we just came back from it about a week and a half ago. So let me just start off by telling you where the story starts. So I get a call from a service person over at Carnival cruise line and she was basically like oh you know telling me about the cruise asking me if I want to go on a cruise and at first I was kind of iffy about it but once we got to talking and I realized she was legit I just think like yeah that is something I, I definitely want to do I never been on a cruise before and my daughter has never been on a cruise before so I figured that would be the perfect time for us to do it and I'm so glad we did it and we had an amazing time but yeah I was talking to her and we were going over things. Another thing that they do that's really awesome is they give you about a year to pay it off. Like you can pay it off in installments. That was very beneficial to me. So I definitely decided to go that route. So fast forward to about a week and a half ago, the day of the cruise. So Leading up, well, actually, leading up to the cruise, my daughter always told me that she didn't want to go on cruises. Like, like she was nervous to go on a cruise, and I was kind of trying to warm her up to it for the past year and a half before we got on the boat. So, I remember we were watching Hotel Transylvania, and I was like, oh, look at that ship. That ship is so nice in the movie do you want to go on the ship? And she was like, no, I'm not going on the ship. What if it's sink like the Titanic? I'm not going on the ship. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. And then there was another time I was talking to her about two years ago when she was like five or something. And I was like, do you want to go on a cruise? Like, would you like to go on a cruise? She was like, no. Do you know how many people are on those ships? <laughs> She's so smart. She's too smart for home good. But she was like, do you know how many people are on those ships? And she was like, anything could happen. She said, me and you would just be walking, and you'll turn around and look, and I'll have disappeared like a ghost. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. So I would always try to warm her up to it, when it like get prepared for the day when it comes without telling her. But she just wasn't with it. So, the day of the cruise, we was at my sister's house. We went to my sister's house. Well, my daughter was down in New York City for a month with her with her dad. And I wanted to go. I needed to go pick her up and then go right back to New York. Because that's where the port was, that was at that we were going to. So, I basically had to go get her for the month. Get the suitcase. Take her stuff out the suitcase and then pack a new suitcase with both our belongings. And I was, t I had to think of a lie as to why we were going back to New York so fast because we literally, I literally picked her up and we were going back down to New York two days later. So my daughter was like, "Why are we going back down to New York? This doesn't make any sense. We just came from New York. I'm not going back to New York." And I was just like, "We gotta go to our my sister's beach party. Like she loves my sister, so." I knew that would wheel her in. And I was like, we have to go to her beach party. And my daughter was like, okay, we can go back to New York. So we go back to New York. The day comes. I had so much running around to do. So much running around to do. So anybody that's going on a cruise, please make sure y'all have everything organized. Even though I, I'm not going to lie, like I, I have to give myself an A-plus for preparation because like I have my clothes, my outfits, her clothes, her outfit, sunscreen, um, waterproof camera, 
everything I felt like I would need to make my trip a success, I did a good job of getting my all of our belongings together. But it's just that the last minute stuff, like I need to go do our hair. I need to go do I wanted to go do my nails. I wanted to go I had to go print out our boarding passes and all of that stuff. So I just remember getting there with that heavy suitcase, having so much running around to do. Majority of the stuff I needed to do was in Manhattan. And my sister lives in the Bronx. So that was kind of out of my way, you know. I just had a whole bunch of stuff I needed to do. But fortunately, by the grace of God, I got everything complete. And yeah, so the day of the trip. Um, the lie that I, like I said, the lie that I told my daughter was we would all go to my sister's beach party. So the day of the trip, my daughter's like, I said, Kyla, we have to leave out ahead of my sister. She's like, why are we leaving out ahead of her? It's her party. You know, she started figuring out because she's real smart. She's like, it's not adding up. So my sister just spilled the beans and said, you're going on a cruise. My daughter was like, no. So she starts getting upset, crying. I'm like, no, we got to go. Like, like, it, I think we were supposed to be there from 1.30 to 2. That was our boarding time. It was already like 1 o'clock, 1 something at this moment. So I'm like, no, we don't even have time to, to do this. We got to go. And she was just like, no, I'm not going. I don't want to go on the cruise. And... I basically had to get her out of the house. My daughter was crying the whole way there. It was bad. Like, <laughs> she wasn't throwing the fit, but she was, like, crying. She kept telling me, you lied to me. Why did you lie to me? And stuff like that. And I'm like, dang. But as soon as we got there, she started feeling a little bit better. The ship was very, very huge. And she started feeling, but she started feeling better. And as soon as we got on the ship, we were going up to our floor she seen that water, that water slide. She seen the water slide. And there was a guy that was in the elevator with us. I remember him having some really nice shoes. And he was saying, oh, I remember when I was a kid. And I used to go on these cruises and stuff like that. And he was like, what's the first thing you want to do? My daughter was like, get on that. That water slide. So that kind of warmed her up to it, you know. And we got, we went to the, we went in our room. She put on her bathing suit and stuff, and then we got, we went outside. The cruise was amazing. Like, the staff was on point. I love the, I love the fact that the staff was very multicultural. It was a lot of people from all over the world working on that ship. Not just working on the ship, but on the ship as well as guests. But I love the fact that the staff was very, very, very diverse. I loved that. Um, they were awesome. The staff was awesome. The food was awesome. They have a 24-hour pizza station open. They have, um, you know, you can get up in the middle of the night, get you some lemonade, get you some some iced tea. They have, like, you know, always service. It was, I didn't get seasick. On, I would say, it was it was eight days, so I would say I had a, on the seventh day, I got motion sickness, but that was because it was raining outside and stuff, so I think that's what made the boat real rocky. But other than that, everything was A1. We went on three excursions. One was snorkeling. Uh, the second excursion was, no, the first excursion was a tour in, in Old San Juan and Puerto Rico and New San Juan. So we did the tour around Puerto Rico. We, um, the second day we did snorkeling. The third day we were supposed to do horseback riding, but that excursion got canceled, and we ended up doing a stingray snorkeling event, which was the best of them all. Like I kissed the stingray; it was awesome. Like I really want to do another video uploading all the images and the pictures. I might blend it in this one, but I just want to show y'all because it was very amazing. The food was so divine. Like I had a appetizer; it was crab meat. They made like a, they made it like a crab salad, but it was like crab meat. I think with mayonnaise. They put green apple slices in it, um, like some pesto mayo. It was oh my goodness, so 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 scrumptious. It was amazing, but yeah. So 
I'm gonna show y'all a few things I got from my trip. Um, I bring home some sand because I love sand. And I put it here in this glass. But this is St. Thomas sand and this is Grand Turk sand. And I got me some souvenirs. So I got this one from Grand Turk. Oh, Grand Turk, that was my favorite. The island is so completely 100% gorgeous. I love that island. This is a conch, a conch shell. It's so beautiful. It's like the. See how. Can y'all see how beautiful this shell looks? I think it's called like a. Um, I'm sorry the lighting in here is real dim, but it's it's late. But it's called a conch, conch shell or something like that. And it was at the bottom of the sea in Grand Turk. Very, very, very beautiful. And I got me some nice, beautiful bracelets. I got these from, got these in Puerto Rico. And as you can see them. This one and this lovely one that matches my outfit. Love, love, love jewelry. But yeah, um, I just hope that I love the Caribbean. The Caribbean is a beautiful place to be. I just hope and pray for everybody that's been uh, devastated by Hurricane Dur Durian. Um, I hope everybody pulls through and my condolences to. Anybody that suffered in the hurricane. But I actually got back in time. My my boss from my old job went on a cruise as well, but he went to the Florida port and he was actually kind of caught up in Dorian. Like he posted on Facebook that the uh, Dorian was right behind them and that they don't know if they'll be able to leave the port. So I was actually kind of fortunate that I didn't get caught up in that. But yeah, I think I'm going to do another video with me showing the pictures and all the fun I had. But other than that, you guys have a good one. I hope you're tired. Whew. I'm going to take a shower and go to bed. But yeah, you guys have a good night, evening, morning, whatever time it is wherever you at. One love. Mwah.